I let my viewers join my hardcore Minecraft world and try to stop me from surviving 100 days. In this world we have Terra World Generation mod that makes absolutely any biome as beautiful as they could be. Subscribe to join the stream and hit the notification bell to not miss it. And let's begin. Luckily I started alone and before anyone else could join I got some coal, wood and everything that I will need in future. Oh my god. I almost died in my first night. I needed to find some sheep in order to make a bed. Even though it's dark I should be able to see them. Did you hear that? Oh my god. <laughs> I got a dog in the beginning. My new dog helped me to find enough sheep and I made a bed. But unfortunately, I freaking knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I got a pet from a jungle and I spent some time smelting all of my stuff. I left my pets near surface and went into a cave to mine some resources. I see gold. I really need gold for the golden apples. Any diamonds? <laughs> I knew it, man. What, five diamonds? This is perfect. I decided to immediately spend it onto something nice. We're gonna have diamond pickaxe anyway. I decided to keep my pets down there with the purpose of coming back. Okay, everything is fine. Wait, apparently I was right next to a pillager outpost and didn't even notice. How did I even come here? Okay, I think there's no one. Did they really just not spawn? So this is a bug in Terra World Generation where some mobs don't spawn. Well, the loot wasn't worth it anyway. All right, let's go and get water from the village, I think. Is there even water? Nope, there wasn't, but it was worth it. Chest with apples. This is perfect. I wanted to check if I grow a tree from a sapling. Will it be a regular Minecraft tree or no? It's special oak. That's kind of cool. I wanted to get some books from a villager, but they refused to work. So I went searching for lava pools to make an enchanting table instead. All right, that's water. That's obsidian. Perfect. On the way back, I took my pets with me so they will chill in the village instead. Hey, sit, sit, guys, sit, sit. I made an enchanting table, took all the books from the village and made a first advantage in front of other people who would join. I got 4 golden apples. I've set up full enchanting room with 15 bookshelves, but I didn't have enough levels. So I decided to go to nether and try to get some quartz and XP. But right as I was about to build it, I saw a nickname. Luckily they weren't hostile. Hi. Hi. Are we okay? No. There's enchantment table. You know, so I was able to make the nether portal, but I still was very careful because anything can happen. In the nether I was afraid to get too close to an edge because I thought he would punch me down and I would die of fall damage. I started gathering some quartz and realized very soon that I don't have any golden armor on me. And as I was making it, alright I guess I have to kill this guy, gotta get rid of this one too. I continued gathering all the quartz that I can find, but soon I realized that my non-hostile friend was slain by a piglin. Wait. Oh, hello there. I avenged him and made a memorial in form of a chest with all his stuff. Hey, there's fire resistance potion. What? Whoever finds this first, keep it. A nearby piglin decided to help me with a gas. Fight him. Shoot him. I thought that's pretty cool. I actually have a bow. He's gonna shoot him right now. Hey, he got him. What the heck? I continued grinding quartz till I get level 30 and I rewarded myself with protection 3 helmet. And later on I solved the emerald problem. Yes! Sticks! For some wood cutting and trading, I got back to level 30 and got something powerful for that. Power 3! Anything else? Just power 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. In this world generation mode, trees are much higher. 4, is that enough? I really wanted to see how 2x2 two two trees would look like. I was able to get food from a villager, this was really convenient. I was literally turning wood into food. I need just a little bit of levels. Oh my god, what are these sounds? Finally first protection 4! And there might be something epic too. No, that's just protection 4. I want you to know that I almost opened this door. <laughs> okay. No problemo. I went mining. Oh, and I was kinda lucky. Okay, we found it. Even more lucky than that. Diamonds! A little bit more than that. More diamonds! You know what? Whoa, 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 Okay, 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 okay. I really can't see it there, right? Wait, is that diamond? That is diamond. I was still waiting to see something. They're trolling. Stupid trees. So, we're making the sword. We're making the chest plate. And we're making the diamond leggings. Now, try to. Try to win. Try to fight me now. I think the best thing will be sharpness. It's like I felt that I will need more sugarcane than this. Sugarcane just grew, so we can do just that. I finally found a fortress after all this time. And what I get for that? And all I can do is laugh in front of a danger. <laughs> At least for a while. Are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus. 
Alright, it fell down, but it's totally fine. I've been very careful while looting this fortress. Diamonds! And very lucky, but it was not what I came here for. Two more diamonds, are you kidding me? I've been worrying that wither skeletons will get me. So I prepared and greeted blazes. Hi. I got back with level 30 and you know what it means. Please make it unbreaking. Silk touch and unbreaking. Awesome. Now I'm invincible. Ah. Uh, hey, it worked. I finally had something to MLG in nether. Okay, I'm gonna put it on chest plate. And hopefully there's gonna be some protection, like something. Please. Ready? Ready? Go. I don't want to check it. I don't want to check it. Protection 4 and thorns. Guys, you're done. I was done with this village and I wanted to be far away. So I've collected my enchanting room, took my pets and went traveling. <laughs> I saw amazing places I couldn't stay. This is like oasis, you know, or mirage that you can see in the desert. I've reached the border and I was surrounded with beautiful terrain from all sides. Rivers are gonna go through mountains, through absolutely any other biome. Just traveling with my parrot and dog. Woohoo! Have you ever seen a picture like this? I haven't seen, but it's, it, it looks dope. Me and my dog continued fighting random enemies. Almost all of them. Oh my god. Creeper! I found what it seemed, two golden blocks with a ruined portal. There's another golden block, man. I'm rich! There was absolutely nothing interesting on the other side of the nether portal. So I came back and took my pet. Imagine if I used the flint and steel to actually... <clears throat> After a bit of traveling. Okay, there's a temple. Awesome. Oh, this place looked amazing. I can make my uh, base out of this, actually. Because this looks just super epic and super cool. This could be my th throne, you know. The treasure room looked the same. I found another golden apple. Diamond! And of course, all the TNT. I wanted to show you this mess up beyond because it looks dope, but it's kind of useless. I found a horse and I was lucky to have a saddle. I didn't know what to do with it, so it's just another pet I have to take care of. It is fast enough, right? And I found a village right next to it. Hello, villagers! I left my horse and explored a little bit. Uh, this should be lighted up. This was far enough, so I felt confident of staying here and renovating this house, putting even my diamonds in the chest, making doors, and just making things comfortable. I was impressed that I fit enchanting room right here. Have you ever seen... I was bragging a little bit. Anything better than this. Alright, guys, this house is dope. And while I was finding diamonds, something else happened up above. So, uh, I'm just gonna check if there's any... That's why you check. I kept searching for diamonds for a really long time. Guys, I'm lucky, what can I say? <laughs> Two, oh my god, there's a lot. Three, four, five, six. Meanwhile, I was losing the rest. Oh my god, what's happening? On the way back, I saw a nickname. So I ran back a little bit to get ready. And I had to attack for my village. I'm gonna fight, super. I had a golden apple just in case. I'm going to fight. I crouched to him so he couldn't see me. I was able to hit him twice but I didn't expect him to have absolutely no armor. He ran away, I ran for him, but I just left because it wouldn't be fair. <gasps> but as I went out of the cave, I saw what I've done. My village, my base, my house, everything is gone. One villager, I couldn't even breathe them anymore. <gasps> I checked the house and the chest with all the valuables in it. And he's still down there. Took my diamonds, huh? All right, gotta go get my diamonds. Straight so yeah. I ate a gavel in front of him to show that I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> oh, you burnt them? Did you burn my diamonds? Did you burn my diamonds? I found much more like it. You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. I burnt them down and I made a wall around the village. I had hopes to find a zombified villager and fix this place. Diamonds! While I was caving, I saw a disturbing message. Oh no. Oh wait, wolf was slain. Oh my god, did he, did he kill my wolf? I had to go back up, there was someone. The winter is coming! What winter? He will winter! <laughs> I noticed a useless cobble wall, I went up and found my parrot. My dog was gone and then... Sorry, the dog rampage on me, so I have to kill him. Oh. Hey, villager is still alive, that's dope. Guys, thank you, thank you for not taking away the blaze rods. I wanted to find the stronghold as soon as possible. I needed shulkers, I needed everything, I needed elytra. That would save my life. Hi, what's up? There's creeper behind you. Yeah, guys, I will have to move all the time. I can't let this thing happen. 
right? I need to keep all of my storage in uh, the ender chest. I was able to make an ender chest and put all my valuables in it. But this guy was following me everywhere. He didn't have much, he couldn't fight me. But I went to the nether, even with all the danger that there could be. I had to lose him. Man, we're literally in the same place. Again, Basal Delta, what is this curse? I knew he was just waiting an opportunity to punch me off the edge. I had to run as far as I can without looking back, just to be far enough from him. Hatteras destination, this was the last biome that I didn't visit in Nether. I went to places no one else willing to go, uncharted, far away, with full of danger. But once I needed a furnace, I didn't have the cobblestone. Can't do with water, nothing, right, so just gonna get rid of it. I needed some fuel to convert all the gold and trade it for ender pearls. I took some extra gold from a ruined portal, ran back to the piglin and furnace, and as I was jumping up, I forgot to look down. Did I really do that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I wasted an obsidian to save my life. Oh, golden apple. And for some crazy reason, I started to sing. Guys, I legit fell down in the lava. <laughs> Just like this. I looted the nearby fortress, but on the way back... Oh my god, it was very risky. I was able to run away from the wither skeletons, but I took an apple just in case. Golden apple? I traded all the gold that I had and went home. I felt I would need more sugar cane, even with the full enchantment table. And I was still going back to another in order to find a bastion and fortress or anything. <laughs> I knew that will happen, guys. I just knew that will happen. I took the strider and went on a long adventure. Whoo! But eventually, and it's so slow, I just had to take my saddle and go through different biomes. I was running for my life. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There is a hoglin right behind me. Saddle, 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 saddle. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, hello. Not gonna fight you today. I saw something far away in the lava. It was a ruined portal, but as I was getting closer... Oh my god, I found it. I found the bastion. Guys, and it's huge. There was nothing super excited in it though. I found two ancient debris, and that's basically all. I decided to loot a little bit more. That's the chest that I want. This time I attacked. I was pretty confident that my power three bow oh God. would save my life. They were able to pathfind to me, and I thought I'm gonna fall down right now, but they temporarily forgot about me. That guy has a crossbow. Oh no. I continued shooting them one by one, then they grouped up. I guess I can fight all of them. Let's just go down with the boat, alright? So it's been four days that I'm traveling, hoglins, striders, piglin brutes, and here's my reward. I came here for nothing. <sighs> I didn't find any diamond tools, any netherite, and I fought so many piglins that I will never fight in my life, ever again. Oh, brutes are there. I continued fighting just in hopes to find something. If brutes are there, there might be something useful, you know? This brute jumped after me, and after realizing that the hoglin came out, and what is going on right now, I don't realize, I just want to survive. And I made it all the way back. And I made a really convenient entrance. Yeah, I made a hole to the portal itself. After four days of mining through netherrack, yeah, we're gonna just fix the old one. I was getting ready to fight the dragon. I had to practice MLG a little bit, because lately, I've been not that good at it. And while doing that, I found some guests. Oh, hi. What's up? I was still careful, but I didn't want to kill anyone who's not even trying to do anything to me. Okay, I have really nice strength potion with three attack damage. What is that potion that you just drank? A really good one. <laughs> it was time to find the stronghold. I was already ready to fight the dragon. I just had to find Fine, it. Fine, this is the way out, right? I hear a zombie, I hear a sea creep. Oh god, 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 god. That was not the safest entrance, but it was really close. <laughs> and maybe even lucky. Oh my god. After killing several mobs and silver fishes, I secured this place and got rid of the spawner. I left my ender chest there. I left the rest of the ender pearls in the ender chest. So right here is gonna be the portal. I don't know where exactly it's gonna spawn. It might be right in the stronghold. It might <laughs> Guys, this is the best portal I've ever made. When I came back, I rearranged all the bookshelves for an enchantment table. Uh, ha, 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 ha. And it was worth it. Protection 4 and then breaking 3. Okay, now this will save my life. Slow falling potions. And we're good to go, guys. Uh... Guys, I hope I'm gonna, not gonna die. If I'm not gonna die, it's gonna be epic. This is day 32. Let's roll. 
okay? It was not much of a challenge to get rid of all the crystals, it went pretty well. I had to build up many times. Go up. I was able to get a couple crystals, but then I had to oh, jump that. down. Uh, I have no idea how I survived that. I guess I sink when I'm panicking. Huh. I got rid of all the crystals pretty easily. Hey. I had power 3 bow and I was able to hit the dragon many 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 times. But when I went okay. close to him... Where can I go? From the back, right? He kept flying away after sending me into the sky and I kept failing MLG. Oh my god, I survived that? I kept trying to hit the dragon from beneath but something was off. He kept immediately fly away. I can't MLG normally, man. So all that I could do is to shoot him with bows and arrows, but I did not have infinity on my bow. I didn't give up, so I pulled out my strength potions and went for it again. Oh, I can't go from this side. What the heck? He kept flying away anyway. I had two stacks of arrows. Oh, that was really good shot. I don't have enough arrows. Its health was so low. Okay, so I'm coming from behind, right? And... He flies away, immediately. Like, what can I do? I legit asked other players to come and bring arrows. After all this practice... Okay, I had him once, two... I finally learned. Flying away. MLG! I don't know how did I survive that. Okay, I'm too close, so he's just gonna... He kept pushing me back. And again, and at this point I realized that I have thorns on me. One time I'm gonna just fail that. So I kept going on it. Another lucky MLG. It's so low and it's been half an hour that I'm here in the end. I've wasted this ender pearl to hit him once more. I was ready for anything. Okay, one more, one more, please, just... One more! He's coming down. It just didn't work and I still don't understand why. Oh, I can't even beat him. Jesus Christ. I could even punch him with my uh, fist or something. Give me the levels. This world was so scuffed that levels were like pillagers. They just didn't spawn. Where's the level? I just went for a light trap. Hey, a city. And a sheep. Awesome. I've collected about 8 shulker shells okay. and found what I really needed. Alright, another one. Ender chest. I didn't really travel too much, but I found an amazing treasure right here. Oh my god. And diamonds. And mending. I used the levitation effect to go to the shipwreck. I didn't want to build up blocks to it. This was really far away. And I could definitely just pearl onto it and it would be nice. But I'm gonna make it, right? I sure, I'm sure gonna make Attempt number two. Now I'm gonna just pearl away. And it's gonna work, right? I've put my faith that other shulker will shoot me with some levitation. You can trust only to your enemies. There's Enderman here. Hi. Okay, we got the wings! The chests were a disappointment. I'm not gonna travel too much, I'm gonna just head back. Will I go through this portal right now? Woo! Other players were waiting for me to respawn and they thought I'm gonna respawn at the spawn. Got an elytra, don't have unbreaking on it yet, but it's gonna be totally fine. I will definitely read the title poem, but I was on the live stream. I woke up in the stronghold and I really had to take the enchanting room. It couldn't stay here. You know what? If anyone will come here, there's gonna be Unbreaking Protection 3 right there. Uh, and another Silk Touch Diamond Pickaxe. I already had a way back through Nether, so it was pretty easy to get back to the village. I did restore enchanting room in this small house, and on the day 35 I had full enchanted diamond gear. Day 35 is also the day when I realized that 2x2 two two spruce trees are not gonna grow in this world generation. That was a disappointment, but I decided to work on my farms and get rid of all the floating trees around, cause they're kinda annoying. Later on Mr. Pigeon joined the game and I really wanted him to uh, get all that diamond gear that I left near the stronghold. Great teamwork. Ooh, this is beautiful. Yeah, we had some shaders on this stream. Did you know this picture is just not moving on the screen? That's why it's kinda creepy. So my next mission was to light up the spawn area because everyone kept dying. I've lit up as much as I could but I had to go back. You know what? We're gonna name this village a floating tree and we're gonna just leave that over there. <laughs> I accidentally found most beautiful eyes on the server. Okay. Oh my god, no. Now this is an Eminem song. 
Since I had a village and really nice gear, I wanted to make a villager breeder. Uh, and I don't really know how to make proper villager breeder. While I was constructing my effortless villager breeder, I heard some weird noise. What's happening? Oh god. It was Santa! Oh wait, I have silk touch. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I spent way too many days constructing this villager breeder and something always was going wrong. Bro, why did, why did you jump there, like, for real? Yeah. You gotta jump here. Okay, just jump here, or gonna, uh, I'm gonna place it later. You have gravel on your hand. Dude. <laughs> jump here, you can jump here, it's easy. Uh, creeper. I literally saved your life. After another life-saving experience. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, you want me to take this away? Alright, uh, no problem, no problem. I'm gonna take it. It's been days and nights, but I kept building this breeder. Wait! Okay, he's in there. Hold up. Gotta help him a little bit. Villagers were supposed to lay in the bed and wake up in the middle of the farm. Okay. Hey! <laughs> Have you seen this anywhere else? But as I was finishing it up... Okay, we don't need this side anymore. ARE YOU FREAKING KIDDING?! I started losing villagers. It felt like someone was purposely holding me back. I wonder who would it be? What are you doing with my village? What? Don't kill him! Oh! <laughs> and... Here he... Disappears. Oh! He disappeared with boat! <laughs> I did not expect that the boat would be gone. The same way I did not expect that there's gonna be a party behind my back. Oh my god, everyone came here to sleep. And they can't. Look into my eyes. I lured one of the villagers up to the farm where he's gonna work to the rest of his life. And you're stuck. Work! my friend, I ensured that my most valuable villager is safe and went deep down into the mine to find some more resources. Diamonds! More diamonds! How did I see it? I was really lucky during the day 43. So lucky that I've been almost blind. Oh! I knew we'd try here maybe. I was experimenting with a new theory. <gasps> Guys, this theory works. So basically if I cut here and go through... <laughs> oh my god. I was stunned. I gotta make a video about this. This one's almost the last one, right? Oh yes, baby. I've never found this many diamonds in this short time. It was so successful that it was almost OP. So I went back up into the village. Now um, <laughs> I got more ores than I got diamonds. Okay. I prepared this stone and went to gather some saplings. Fight mobs. I wanted to finally make a wall around the village because there was just too many mobs. I had to build it during night because there was some people on the server right now. And then I heard some unexpected noises. I followed the sound carefully because I knew the other people were in the village so it could be a trap, possibly. I did not expect to find this. Oh, it's you! I thought I found someone. It was sus, so... But okay. Where are you coming from? I'm glad I decided to go inside and find this. Oh, hi. A secret base under my village. Wow. I came actually in time. A secret base. There was absolutely nothing. But that guy found a mineshaft really close. I heard a slime. It could be useful for MLG in nether. Holy. And it looked like some great place for a slime farm in future. Fight in the middle of the slimes. Action movie. Woo. When we were headed back... I lost my companion. Bro. Oh my god. Are you for real? He attacked me first. There's a diamond pickaxe right I here. I kept reviving people when they were dying from mobs. Just so it's more interesting. It's, it's despawning, dude. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> With the second chance, they started whole new life. Oh, wow. I was really glad that other people are building something in the village. So I didn't have to. GG. Next thing I know, they started avenging each other. This did not go by the plan. Wow. He attacked Benry. Oh no. He realized Benry Reap. Okay, cool. Oh wait, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna dance on it. At night I noticed a message that my companion killed someone who haven't been in the village before. I went down absolutely ignoring a zombie that was climbing up by the ladder. I had to join the fight and save all the stuff from despawning, just in case for the future for other people. And that sound. Oh no. It was that exact zombie. Hold up. He climbed all the way up. What the heck? And we had more work to do now. There's a freaking zombie right here. I got rid of the zombie using the axe. 
and then we locked him here for future times when we will have potions to heal him. Next day I've been farming potatoes for a breeder that was broken. And where's the bed? I fixed the breeder and continued working on the wall during night. Jump! Stay! Okay, they can't do anything. I knew what I had to do next. We are in the nether. I need those mushrooms. Guys. I installed more safe entrances into the village. And I found a new friend. Is this my dog? I can make an army of dogs now. I guess it wasn't. Now it is. After farming some mushrooms, I went to the end to make an enderman farm. Because I needed a lot of XP. Who closed the who closed this off? Oh my god. I found a disturbing surprise. Guess who tried to make a trap here? Oh my god, there's gonna be a trap, right? There's gonna be a trap. I had to prepare for anything. Do this. Get the slope. Falling potion, whatever. And we're gonna go. Woo! It's been a high risk. And there's nothing here. Okay. I've wasted an apple, but I couldn't risk. It was time to make an easy Enderman farm. It didn't work well enough because there was a lot of people online on the server. But I know it will help me out really well in future. I came back during rain. My dog is literally underwater. Maybe just wet. <laughs> This is actually dope. I was getting used to my dog army. <laughs> and finally I was able to heal my farmer so he could work. Hey, it worked! I wanted to get as much progress that I can in the village. Including security and the farming. Cause walls were not enough. And I kinda gotta be always prepared. See? I'm pretty sure he saw my shiny armor and like, I'm out of here, man. I freed my healed farmer and was ready to accept future tax payers. Also, there's someone right here already. Hey, what's up? Still iron armor? You want some enchanting? I got it. I got some enchanting. <laughs> He's going underground. I was okay. feeling pretty confident with all my armor and army of dogs. So I didn't attack any new players that came to my village. Do you think I should have? What's up? Why aren't you crouching? They started making sewers under the village. And I let it slide. Why aren't you crouching? <laughs> While I was getting ready to go to nether in my tiny house. Thanks. Oh, oh no. I've been attacked in my own house. <laughs> my dogs started to attack them. Okay, let's let's make them sit. Sit. Sit! They were running away. I was too powerful. <laughs> A village kept filling out with not villagers. I had to be careful. You need better armor! Then I received a message. Wanna have a battle in the nether? But before answering that... Where's my door? Not my dog! I realized my true power. Why did you hit my dog? I'm gonna defend my dogs. Like, come on, man. I didn't even use my sharpness for sword. Uh, moles will attack. Oh, 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 oh. I revived the guy who attacked me, and he was back really soon. Just to pick up his stuff from the grave barrel. <laughs> he ran, ran, runs away. New molo. <laughs> I don't care if I die, but I don't want to uh, go down in the overworld. So, wanna battle in, uh, it out in hell? <laughs> Uh, what is the thing about nether? I mean, yeah, sure, I can battle with you in nether. Now if he punches me down in lava, I will definitely survive that. Hi. The sewer kept spreading throughout the village. And it looked funny. <laughs> Another mole hole. <laughs> Are you making vents like in Among Us? Make them wa- Who came up with these phantoms, man? Hi. I accidentally scared this guy. <laughs> Panic attack. Yeah. It was time to finish the breeder. Okay. It was almost too easy. The trapdoor should be, I think, here? Let's check. I made sure that this will never be broken and I can go away. Can you go there? At this point I only had to wait for new villagers. You can't. Perfect. And a little bit later I realized that I did not finish. Oh my god, they're making they, they, they're making it. I forgot to make sure that new villagers won't die. Ah! Glass. Fast. Then I got ready for the nether fight. Can I have some ender pearls? Gotta be prepared for a fight, you know? I did not know what's in his mind. Gotta fix my stuff too. Okay, let's go. Let's go to nether. I should have just go in there now. It's kind of weird. What if I'm like, I'm actually not that good at PvP, so I might actually die. But I'm like, nah, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> I felt like I was ready. If anything would happen, I had fire resistance potions, golden apples, and ender pearls. I would definitely win, right? What could possibly go wrong? Hi. You're f***ing <laughs> That was so dumb. Why did I think about it? I saw the bed in your hand. I saw the bed in your hand. That's so sad. I should have realized that. Why would you want to fight in nether? I thought you were, you were gonna like uh, punch me down, you know, in the lava or something. Okay guys, I don't know what you're doing, but the server will be reset with a new world. <laughs> you feel bad? Yeah, man, I mean, 54 days in. <laughs> My four dogs. 
they're never gonna be back. Thank you everyone who watched this video till the end. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope to see you on the server and on the stream. Bye bye.